my TV literally consists of is either PlayStation, Apple TV, or just Sky News. What's been happening? Uh, not a lot, really. Um, ordering a lot of Amazon, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, so all all to uh, to do with practice or gym or what, whatever it is, really. So. So good. So what about um, your like home practice setup? Because I think I saw on Twitter you've got a net in your garden. Yeah, so I ordered a net off Amazon. I've received about 10 million pictures, uh, 10 million messages um, from people. Where'd you get that? Send me the link. What is it? Yeah. Um, and then since it's sold out, because uh, everyone who asks me for the link, I send it and they say, oh, it's, it's sold out. So I was like, well, no sorry about that. But um so yeah, literally, I, I've got um, I've got a net. I've got a mat from Pete Cowan's range that he gave me a while ago. Um, I've got a putting mat here, and and that that's it really. It's as good as it can be, uh, I would say. And I've got a track man and stuff. So perfect. I think a lot of people will be very jealous of that setup because even that <laughs> is hard. <laughs> So tell me what else has been happening. Have you been keeping in touch with Billy Foster or are you guys just having some time out? Yeah, no, I mean, we're, every, we're all, like me and my team are talking pretty regularly. Uh, like I say, speaking to my trainer regularly and um, it's just all very surreal, really. Uh, you know, like we've got obviously things that we want to go play tournaments and, you know, even if it was... At first, when I came home, I, I came home from the players uh, back to Sheffield about three days after. And at first, the first maybe four days, I think, or three days, we weren't really in lockdown. And you could have gone, you could have gone out. There was still so, social people that were recommending social distancing, but I could have gone and played golf. And, and it was almost seen as a bit of time off. But now it's kind of like hit home really that it's yeah this isn't just a little bit of time off and how serious the matter is and, and everything that's escalating with it it's uh yeah it's i mean the grand scheme of things missing a few tournaments isn't a big deal but then at the same time i say that and it's also you know that's also people's livelihoods people are making money for a living from from playing professional golf so it's 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 really tough and um yeah hopefully we can just figure something out soon it's so strange not having any live sport really on the telly. That's the weird. I think that's the weirdest thing. That's the yeah. weirdest thing. I mean, my my TV literally consists of is either PlayStation, Apple TV, or just Sky News. That's it. That's literally. It, it, there's no. I've not changed channel. There's nothing else I'm watching. You know, it's just you're just seeing what's going on day to day yeah. and. Um, and it's it, it's one of those that like I, I've realised over these two weeks, like it's very easy to just sit and just watch TV and 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 yeah. like you know just sit and watch Netflix for example or do yeah it's so easy and just go to the kitchen and and it wasn't until like the end of last week I, I, it struck me I was like hang on if I carry on like this I'm just gonna end up rolling out of my door and by the time the season starts I know. <laughs> It's uh, yeah, you do you do have to sort of try and create some form of structure or a plan or something, you know. Yeah. Um, so have so. your team? Have you been talking about that with your team? And what have you decided? Tell us what your plan is now. This is a good chance for you to voice it, Matt. Yeah. What yeah, is your yeah. daily yeah. structure? Um, <laughs> my daily structure. Uh, well, I'm still. I, even though I'm preaching that you need to have it, I'm not exactly doing it just yet. But, um, no, I mean, for me, I, the, the sort of the staple items really would be, you know, try and hit into the net, um, just hit a few puts on my mat. And it would be like getting a workout or get some cardio in. Um, those are the, for me, those are like the, the key points really. And, and then anything else that sort of revolves around that. Um, whether it's boring stuff like cleaning or, you know, washing or cooking and stuff, just, yeah. just stuff like that, really. And I think as well in this time that I've had off, um, I've done more cooking and stuff and trying to eat healthy and watch the calories and all that just because I'm used to walking 
five miles a day, you know, on practice yeah. days and tournament days. And with that, all of a sudden you lose that. It's, uh, it makes quite a big difference that you don't realise. Totally. It's crazy how less active you are just being at home. I notice it as well, trying to get out and stay active. And, and in terms of your game, I mean, you obviously had a pretty good start to the year, coming second in Abu Dhabi. Do you feel frustrated that it was, like, cut off at this time? Um, yes, yes, and yes and no. I mean, um, for me, I played well at Bay Hill. Obviously, I had a good finish there, but I wasn't quite happy with where my game was at. But I knew that I had time up until the is where everyone wants to peak. Um, and that's what, what I figured. I thought, okay, I've got enough time that I can turn this around, not turn it around, but I can sort of get it going, really. Um, so I, I, was, I was fine with that, and that's what I was looking forward to, and that's what my mindset was. And then with it just obviously being taken away, I was like, okay, well, that's, that's fine. You know, that's the same for everyone now. Everyone's going to be in the same boat. And I look now, and, and literally everyone is in the same boat how people are going to be when they come out, how's the game going to be, how they're going to play, and it's going to be very, very unusual. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens. In terms of where it was, though, you are 25th in the world. What do you think your game needs to get into that sort of top 10 when you do get to get back out there? For me, it's, it's a, not necessarily always just one thing. Um, it's sort of a combination of everything, really. Um, I think even if I became unbelievable, my short game, I feel, is always my my weaker weaker area. But even if it got a lot better, you can't really make a big gain in that area, um, according to the stats. And for right. me, it would just be a case of hitting it a little bit further um, and then just hitting my irons closer, which obviously sounds very simple, and everyone wants to do that, of course. But um, that that's sort of the that's sort of the goal, and it has been just becoming a little bit more consistent with that and doing it regular rather than sort of good couple of weeks and sort of disappear a little bit and then come back for another good couple of weeks. It's um, yeah, it's just trying to keep the high level of consistency. Well, I don't know if you remember, but the one hole that I did caddy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still applying for the job? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just saying you're two under par for one hole when I was in the back. So this is true, this is true. I'll no short game Billy. required. I'll pass that on to Billy. <laughs> well, listen, Matt, it's been great to chat to you. Great to see you doing well. Um, good luck with the net and the walk bike when it comes. <laughs> Thanks, Iona.